This training video is a capture of an interactive online training module. While this training video provides you with valuable content, the optimal experience can only be had by navigating to the Extreme Networks website and accessing this interactive training through our Educational Services portal. Welcome to the Extreme Exos Border Gateway Protocol Basic Online Module. Upon completion of this course, you'll be able to describe how Border Gateway Protocol operates, compare and contrast external BGP and internal BGP, configure simple eBGP and iBGP on simulated switches, and complete a simple single-homed BGP configuration using eBGP and iBGP. This course has been developed into four sections but how you navigate through it is entirely up to you. For instance, if you already understand how BGP operates, you might want to jump into the configuration section. If BGP is a new topic for you, we suggest you go through all sections sequentially, sections 1 through 3, and then take the quiz. Select the section you are interested in viewing now. While most of us access the Internet every day, have you ever wondered how the Internet works? BGP is the protocol of the Internet. The Internet is about sharing information easily and quickly. BGP is about opening sessions between routers and passing directions or maps to the information while maintaining control as to who gets and shares which maps. Network operators share network reachability information through BGP with other BGP systems. BGP runs on selected switches by maintaining a table of IP networks or prefixes called the Routing Information Base, the RIB or Routing Table, which designates reachability among routing domains or autonomous systems, AS or networks. The regional Internet registries allocate each autonomous system a number, the ASN, to uniquely identify each network on the Internet. BGP defines routing policy uses the ASN, uses IP routing prefixes, and exchanges reachability information. Routing versus switching. Routing, a Layer 3 protocol, builds maps resulting in tables to deliver packets from endpoint A to endpoint Z, taking into account intermediate points B, C, D, etc. The router finds active paths via routing protocols for new packets taking into account the transit and endpoint hops. The router determines an alternate path for some packets, as multiple paths might be available. Path selection decisions are based on topology, policies, and metrics. The router repeats its packet forwarding until it is turned off. Switching, a Layer 2 protocol, moves frames with enclosed packets from interface A to interface B according to established directions such as the ARP table. BGP was created to replace the exterior gateway protocol to allow for fully decentralized routing and the removal of the NFS Internet Backbone Network. The major enhancement in BGP version 4 was support of classless interdomain routing and use of route aggregation to decrease the size of routing tables. BGP uses path vector routing protocol where each router learns its routes from its neighbor's perspective and then advertises the routes from its own perspective. BGP does not use traditional interior gateway protocol metrics but rather makes routing decisions based on path, network policies, and or rule sets. It is less complex and thus less compute and memory intensive than link state protocols. Who uses BGP? BGP is predominantly used by Internet Service Providers, ISPs, to exchange network routing information. ISPs need BGP to establish routing between one another, especially when they are multi-homed. BGP is used by multi-homed ISPs who get Internet routing information from more than one ISP at a higher tier to keep their routing information in sync. BGP is not used directly by most Internet users. What are some characteristics of BGP? BGP uses TCP port 179 for confirmed communication. It is a path vector protocol. It is characterized for using incremental updates. Two types of BGP exist, an internal protocol, IBGP, 
and an external protocol, eBGP. IBGP is used to carry Internet routes across an autonomous system within an ISP and collect all the customer prefixes within the autonomous system or AS number. eBGP is used for exchanging prefixes, called Network Layer Reachability Information, or NILRIS, with other autonomous systems, as well as route policy implementation. Here are a few important points about the internal-external BGP model. IBGP runs within an autonomous system and must run on top of an internal gateway protocol such as OSPF, or you must statically add routes to the routing table of each router within the autonomous system. eBGP advertises routes to neighbors on a directly connected network. BGP neighbors must be able to ping each other. Let's look at BGP routing and traffic flow. BGP works by originating and announcing networks and routes. Then BGP neighbors accept these networks and routes and announce them to peers. Thus the best routes to new networks are identified, stored, and shared. BGP speakers announce network layer reachability information, NILRIS, plus attributes. These include the route description and additional information that affects the acceptance policy of the receiving router. Finally, changes to routes such as additions and deletions of routers are shared through update messages. Let's look at BGP routing and traffic flow. BGP works by originating and announcing networks and routes. Then BGP neighbors accept these networks and routes and announce them to peers. Thus, the best routes to new networks are identified, stored, and shared. BGP speakers announce network layer reachability information, NILRIS, plus attributes. These include the route description and additional information that affects the acceptance policy of the receiving router. Finally, changes to routes such as additions and deletions of routers are shared through update messages.